All right, welcome to another episode of the Vegan Kitchen Takeover. We're out for a little bit, um, as you can see, trying to do a little remodeling of the kitchen. So it's the Vegan Kitchen Takeover takes over this old house. We we'll call it that. So today, what we're going to do is we're going to do some soba noodles in our own homemade teriyaki sauce with some vegan soy cuts. I'll tell you all about this right after this on the Vegan Kitchen Takeover. Okay, right now we are gonna make our teriyaki sauce. Super simple stuff right here. We've got about an inch of this ginger right here, and we've got uh, about two uh, garlic cloves right here, all chopped, all ready to go. Let's add a little uh, cooking spray right here. Usually I'd use some sesame seed oil, but we're all There we go, we're gonna put that. We're gonna smell that aroma right there. Doesn't need to be in there long at all. We've got a quarter cup of soy sauce. Oh, that's sizzle. We've got a cup of water. We've got a tablespoon of this sweet cooking rice seasoning. It's a rice wine right here. Oh, there's some alcohol in it. You better believe it. I'm going to put about a tablespoon. We'll say tablespoon right on in there. We are also going to add some agave to this bad boy. Some good old cactus juice right here. Cactus syrup, I should say. We'll add about uh, three tablespoons. There we go. We're going to let that cook a little bit. Now while that's going, I'm going to tell you about one of my favorite little things called these guys right here. Vegan soy slices. They're supposed to be like a mock pork slice. I haven't had pork in forever, so I can't tell you, you know, how, how different in comparison it is. But this is some great stuff. It has great texture. And this will last me weeks. It costs two bucks this bag right here. You find it at any Asian uh, store. So I'm going to put about, I'd say about for the amount of liquid that we have here, about like uh, eight to ten chunks. We've got ten chunks right in there. And so what we're going to do is while this is boiling, these uh, textured soy protein nuggets, if you will, are going to suck in that juice and it's going to give us a great flavor when we're cooking it with our veggies. Okay, so while that is going right now, we're going to add our quarter of cup brown sugar. We've got a pure brown sugar right here. Some good stuff. Some raw brown sugar, I should say. That's where it's from. So we're going to mix that up. We're still going to let it cook just a little bit more. We want to reduce it. And while that's going, let's add, I have about three uh, whites of the uh, green onion right there. Three, three stalks, the white parts. I'm going to put that in there. We're going to let that cook probably for about, it's boiling, it's on high right now. We're probably going to cook it for about another two minutes to let that thicken up. And then we'll be ready to rock and roll with the veggies. So this is what you're going to get after about two minutes. We're going to let it go for about another minute longer because our textured soy protein is still a little tough right there. We want to get it a little softer. So one more minute, and then we're going to take this out and we'll separate the sauce from the soy nuggets and we'll get that ready to uh, fry with our veggies. Okay, so as you can see, we separated. We went bobbing for soy nuggets, as James, our cameraman, just uh, pointed out. So we separated it, our teriyaki sauce right there, and our soy nuggets that are now getting that flavor, just soaking in that flavor. That's what's going on right now. So what we're going to do is we're going to grab these soy nuggets. You're going to throw them in the pan that already has heated oil. I suggest using sesame oil if you have it. You know what? We're going to go a little crazy. We're going to add some of this bad boy. This is some, uh, some chili paste right here. This is the good stuff. Some garlic chili paste. We'll add a little drop. Get a little uh, spoon so we don't burn anything. Now let's add some veggies. We've got um, one garlic clove and uh, one whole red onion right there. Chop. You're going to have to move with me, James. We're going fast with this. We've got some carrots right here. I've got about a quarter of a cup. Damn, right in there. Maybe that was a half cup. Let's say half cup. We've got uh, four mushrooms right there. We've got our broccoli. And we've got some snap peas. I just did about a half a handful right there. It's all kind of going to melt down a little bit. That's the one thing. You always think you've got a full pan, and then they sweat all out, and they get a little slimmer. And they all fit in that bowl. OK, we're going to let these guys uh, sweat a little bit for about, a, about two minutes. And then when we return, we'll add that sauce. OK, we've been stir frying this bad boy for about uh, two minutes right now. 
And now we are going to add our homemade teriyaki sauce, which let me tell you, tastes delish. Put that right on there. I'm going to cook it up uh, about another two minutes, and then we're going to uh, mix this with our soba noodles. Now, one thing you need to know about soba noodles, 32% buckwheat and about 68% wheat right here. So no, it is not gluten free friendly, but you can always use rice noodles. Remember that, rice noodles. They're your friend. Uh, these, when you're cooking these guys, when you get the water to a boil, you pop these guys in and only two, three minutes max. Uh, if you do over that, it says on the label actually, it says six minutes, but if you do over that, it's, it's, it's way gone by then. So just so you know right there. The next picture you see will be us enjoying a nice dish of this right here. Thank you so much for uh, watching another episode of the Vegan Kitchen Takeover live on the set of This Old House. <laughs>